Good day everyone. Welcome to Grade 5 Online Math Class again. I'm Connie Salazar, your teacher for this season. Okay, let's have our new lesson. It's all about GCF, the greatest common factor. So let's identify first what is GCF meaning according to our textbooks. Okay, the greatest number that is a factor of two or more numbers. So let's identify what is factor. A factor is a number or quantity that when we multiply it with another produces a given number. Or it is also a number or quantity that possible to divide to a given number. So, let's have our example so we can easily understand our lesson for the day. So, let's find the common factor. So, the word common here means the same. So, the same factor. We are going to find the same factor of 45 and 55. So, remember the factor means a number or quantity that when we multiply it with another produces a given number. So, it means... When you multiply 4 times 5, it is 20. So, 4 and 5 is a factor of 20. So, we are going to find a factor for 45 and 55. And another meaning of factor is a number or quantity that possible to divide to a given number. So, therefore, it is one number that we can use to divide these two given numbers number so therefore we will get this second meaning so we are going to identify the possible number to divide by 45 and 55 so this time we will use our knowledge about the visibility rule so we can easily identify what possible number can we use so we have for 45 and 55 both of them i divisible by 5 but before that let's see first what are the possible number or possible factors of 45 so let's start by 3 by 5 by 9 and 15 paano natin nahulaan yung 3 5 9 and 15 hindi natin yung siya basta hinulaan when we use 3 to divide 45, the answer is 15. So, therefore, 45 is also divisible by 15. And if we will use 5 to divide by 45, we have 9. So, therefore, 45 is also divisible by 9. So, sila nga yung kanina, di ba? Natanda natin yung meaning ng ating factor. Number that when we multiplied, we get the given number. So, sila yun. Kapag minultiply mo yung 2 or more, yun ang mga factors of a given number. So, when we list the factors of 55, we have 5 and 11 only. So, you will see that 5 is the only common factor of 45 and 55. And remember that 1 is the least common factor kasi lahat naman ng number ay divisible by 1. Kaya hindi na natin siya pinapakita pero automatic na yan na yung 1 is possible to divide by any number. Pwede siyang ipang divide by any number. Okay? So, therefore, the GCF of 45 and 55 is 5. So, ang ginamit natin ditong method is listing method. Sinulat natin yung lahat ng possible na pwedeng ipang divide sa 45 and 55 and we look for the common or the same factor of 45 and 55. So, let's have another example. Medyo taasan natin yung given number para mas ma-challenge tayo. So, let's use continuous division in this and uh, set of number kasi medyo mahirap na dito gamitan ng listing method yung 288 and 252 because you will start for finding the common factor of 288 medyo mahaba madami ang hinahanap lang naman natin ay GCF or the greatest common factor so let's use our knowledge in divisibility rules using 2, 3, 5 or 10 or 100 kung alin ang mas madali 
Uh, tingnan natin, uh, doon lang muna tayo sa 235. Gamit natin ang 2 dito kasi both 288 and 252 are even. So, therefore, divisible by 2. So, when we divide 288 by 2, the answer is 144. And 252 divided by 2, the answer is 126. 144 and 126 still divisible by 2. From the word continuous division, hanggat pwede pang i-divide yung quotient natin, ay magdi-divide pa rin tayo. At ang gagamitin pa rin natin, yung maliliit lang na number, para hindi tayo nahihirapan. So, let's divide again. 144 by 2, the answer is 72. And 126 is 63. So, 72 and 63 is not divisible by 2 anymore because 63 is not even. It is odd. So, therefore, let's see the next rules for our number sa 3. Diba? Ang sabi natin, sum of digit, if it's multiple of 3, it is divisible by 3. So, therefore, 7 and 2, 9, 6 and 3 is also 9. So, therefore, divisible both side by 3. So, therefore, the answer is 24 and 21. Still, 24 and 21, alam na alam nyo naman na yan ay multiple of 3. Kaya, i-divide pa rin natin siya sa 3. So, we have 8 and 7. And now, we have 8 and 7 called relatively prime. Kasi 8 is composite, 7 is prime. But because 8 and 7 cannot be divided by common factor. Wala na silang common factor. Kaya tapos na yung ating pagko-continuous division. So, stop na tayo. So, ang sabi na natin, all factors we use are their common factors. So, isa-isay natin. So, ano ba yung ginamit natin? Yan. 2 squared times 3 squared. So, ginamit natin yung, two square, yung dalawang 2 at saka dalawang 3. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng small number na yan ay exponent. Exponent tells how many times you multiply the base. So, nakalagay dyan 2 squared kaya 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 kasi 3 squared din. Okay? So, paano natin makukuha yung mga common factor using this 2 times 2 times 3 times 3? So, start muna tayo to list by using this, ha? Malilist natin yan. Uh, we can use 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Paano yun? Paano natin nakuha yun? 1 is the common. Then, unang ginamit natin ay 2. At sunod na ginamit natin, 3. So, ibig sabihin, 288 and 254 divisible by 3 din. And then, paano mo nakuha yung 4? 2 times 2, 4. And then, 2 times 3, 6. 3 times 3, 9. Then, 2 times 2 times 3, 12. 3 times 3 times 2, 18. And then, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 is 36. So, to get the GCF, we will multiply it all. So, kaya ang GCF natin ay 36. Kaya nung nilist natin yung mga common factor nila, automatic ng pinakamalaki ay 36. So, ang mga susunod na lang natin gagawin, imumultiply lang natin itong lahat na ginamit natin pang divide. So, para makuha natin ang GCF. Pinakita ko lang sa inyo yung possible na common factor nila. Okay, pinakita ko lang naman yung... Paano natin makukuha yung common factor? At least, pagka tinanong sa inyo, what are the possible common factor of this two given? ba? Diba? So, madali na ninyo. Based lang dun sa ginamit ninyong mga pang uh, divide sa ating continuous division, mahahanap din natin yung mga common factor nila. Okay? So, let's move on with another example. And this time, we will have our 909 and 153. So, continuous division again. So, 909 and 153, both add number. Pero ang ating rules ay pasok sila sa 3. 9 plus 9, 18. 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 9. So, divisible both side by 3. Kaya meron tayong 303 and 51. 51 is 6. 3 plus 3 is 6 din. So, both of them divisible by 3 pa rin. At ang sagot na natin is 101 and 17. 17 is a prime and also 101 is a prime. So, both of them are prime. Both of them is prime na. Kaya wala nang mapang di-divide na any common factor. So, let's use 3 squared 
or 3 times 3, let's identify the common factors yun. Yun lang ang common factors niya, 1, 3, and 9. Kasi, dalawa lang naman ang nagamit natin, dalawang beses lang na 3. So, divisible by 3, divisible by 9. So, pag dinibide mo by 9, 153, ang sagot mo ay 17. Okay, so to get the GCF, divide lang natin 3 times 3. The answer is 9. Okay, another example para mas maintindihan pa. Uh, this time, we will have 500 and 650 at ang ginamit na natin agad ay 10. Kasi meron tayong 2 zeros sa ating 1's digit. So, tanggalin lang natin isang 0. Kaya, 50 and 65. And 50 and 65 divisible by 5. So, we have 10 and 13. 13 and 10 are called relatively prime again kasi composite and prime. Wala na silang common factor. Kaya, relatively prime na ang tawag. So, let's multiply all the factor that we use to get the GCF. So, 5 times 10 equals 50. Bakit pala, ma'am, lagi mong inuuna yung yung maliit kesa sa malaki and nauna mo naman ginamit ay 10. Kasi when we write number sentence, we start by smallest terms of multiplication. Ha? Inaas, inano natin siya ascending. So, from uh, small to greatest number. Doon tayo, pagka nagsusa tayo ng multiplication, kapag sa dito sa continuous division. So, yun yung mas proper. Okay. So, let's have another example. Uh, let's have 2,700 and 6,300. So, gamitin na natin yung 100. Galing yan sa 10 times 10 equals 100. So, dalawang 0, kaya 27 and 63. Both of them divisible by 3. Kaya meron pa tayong 9 and 21. Divisible by 3 again. And we have 3 and 7. 3 and 7 are prime na. Kaya wala nang pang divide. So therefore, the common factors is 3 squared times 10 squared. Sabi ko kasi yung 100 galing siya sa 10 times 10. Kaya 10 squared. So 3 times 3 times 100. Tapos... Eh, dahil yan ang ginamit natin, tapos 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 times 100 is 900. So, the GCF is 900. Diba? Ang dali lang. Napakabilis lang maintindihan, ano? And next, 98 and 196. Ayan. So, kung nakaten kayo nakaraan, alam na alam yung na dapat ang sagot dito. So, 98 and 196 divisible by 2 kasi sila ay even. So, 49 and 98. Ito ang trick niyan, mga kids. Kapag ang two sets, kapag ang dalawang given number na, na hinahanapan natin ng GCF at dinibide natin by 2 at ang sagot ng malaking number ay the small number, therefore the GCF is the small number. So, kahit hindi mo na siya ituloy, mag-continuous, alam mo na agad. So, ibig sabihin, when a biggest number is divisible by the smallest number, the smallest number called the GCF. Okay? So, ituloy lang natin para mas maintindihan natin yung sinasabi kung totoo bang 98 ang ating magiging sagot. So, 1 and 2 is prime. So, therefore, 2 times 7 squared and the answer is 98. Now, relatively prime lang ang tawag sa 1 and 2 ha, kasi 1 is not a prime. 2 is prime but 1 is not a prime. Okay? A special number. So, sana mas naintindihan na ngayon, ano? Wala nang laging. Let's have our example naman in word problem. So, Mr. Soriano donated 72 pieces of face mask, 54 pieces of face shields, and 36 pieces of bottled alcohol to the pupils of Bagusilang Elementary School. What is the biggest number of pupils in the school that can receive face mask, face shield, and bottled alcohol equally. Ilan kaya ang makakatanggap ng uh, mga ito, ng donated na to, equally. So, pag nakita nyo yung setang equally, automatic gagamitin natin yung ating paraan para hanapin ng GCF or the greatest common factors. So, nilagay natin si 72, 54, and 36. So, automatic, alam nyo na, ang pang-divide dyan ay 2 dahil lahat sila ay even. Ayan. Then, next ay 3 kasi lahat sila the sum is 
divisible by 3. And the answer is still divisible by 3. So, hindi pa tayo titigil. Yan. So, ngayon, dahil natapos na tayo, lahat na sila ay relatively prime na, cannot be divided by the any common factor. So, therefore, let's move on to find our GCF by multiplying all the given number that we used to divide. So, lahat yon ay, ang sagot ay 18 pupils will receive equally. So, lahat makakatanggap ng apat na face mask, tat long face shields, and two bottled alcohol. Yun ang matatanggap ng bawat 18 pupils. Okay? So, another example para mas maintindihan pa. Okay, Jane collected different marbles. She has 36 red mar marbles, 84 blue marbles, and 102 yellow marbles. She wants to put them into boxes with equal number of marbles per color without remainder. How many boxes could she make? So, tatandaan nyo ulit. Walang remainder and then equal. Yan na naman yung word na equal number. So, gagamitin uli natin ang ating rules. How to get the GCF. So, ilalagay natin yung 36, 84, and 102 in the box and then divide natin uli sila. Yan, gamit ang ating 2, 3 possible number. And then yan, oh, wala na. 6, 14, and 27. 27 not divisible by 2. 6 and 14 divisible by 2. Eh, hindi naman siya pwedeng i-divide pa. So, ngayon, tatapusin na natin dyan kasi wala na silang common factor. So, 2 times 3 is 6. So, therefore, we can make a 6 boxes or Jane can make 6 boxes. Okay? So, thank you. Sana naintindihan na, no, ang ating lesson na GCF. So, remember, Number, GCF, the greatest common factor. Factor means a number that possible to divide to a given number. And common factor means the same number that we can use to divide to the given number. So, therefore, based on our explanation, so ang GCF na natin ngayon ay the biggest number that we can use to divide to a given number. Para mas madali niyong matandaan. What is GCF? Okay, so we will have our activity that you will answer and then we will check it on our next uh, meeting. Okay, so sana natandaan nyo, no, yung ating uh, paraan kung paano gagawin. So find the GCF of the following and then show your solution. So hope you will understand and our lesson. Thank you very much for with God nothing is impossible. Look, one verse 37. Say bye-bye.